Welcome to Manga Experts. Today we are counting our top 10 picks for the manga with great art and unique storyline. If you like our video, please leave a like and comment your suggestions below. Without any further ado, let's get started. Silent Night. The famous writer Logan died, leaving behind a mysterious novel. His daughter, Lee, digs up the truth behind her father's death and the stories of the villagers in the first part of the manuscript. The previous Battleground manhwa had good art, but bad action meanwhile this one is a psychological one, and there is a vibe of mystery to it. It is super awesome. The art is also grim and perfect for these type of stories. Hero from a past life. The main character was a hero in his past life. That's right. He once rescued his nation from destruction. When Jain is kidnapped due to his family's massive debt, An Zhou happens to walk by and save him from his kidnappers. From that day the main character's life was never the same. He meets others kids his age with different superpowers who saved their countries in their past life. The art of this manhwa is super cute and adorable. The characters are cute but very simple. AI Doctor. Betting on Tehua Group's future, an AI named Baruta was created. First year neurosurgeon resident Lee Suhyuk was working with Baruta when he was hit by a mysterious explosion and lost consciousness. After regaining consciousness, he met the AI Baruta inside his mind. Already inseparable, they are faced with a situation where they must help each other. Baruta, who, through deep learning, aims to become the best diagnoser, and Suhyuk, who still aims to come into his own, work together to become the world's best neurosurgeon. It is quite good for a medical manhwa. Medical manhwas are hard to understand for normal audience. The translator made the effort to describe the names of the most difficult diseases along with translating it, so it is also good for those people who don't have an interest in the medical field and just want to read a good drama. Paradise Lost. Within the walls of the mansion, the chairman's word is above the law. On the first day on the job as a bodyguard, Minchiel is taught to obey Chairman Lim's orders at all times, at all costs. Chairman Lim is the master, and the mansion of paradise he's built for himself and his beloved daughter. He'll do anything to preserve this world, meaning he won't tolerate recklessness or incompetence, yet, Minchiel is all those things. He's entered the mansion with an agenda that could destroy the Chairman's world. Mind games, threats, and power struggles ensue as Chairman Lim and his loyalists fight to squash Minchiel and everything he stands for. All characters have so much depth to them, and the story is also very engaging. You can finish it in just one go. This is mostly recommended for drama lovers. Guido. This manhwa is super awesome. The main character and his friend were abducted by a psycho, and a few days later MC was found in a gutter. His memories of being kidnapped are foggy. The day he was rescued he also gained a superpower which he can use to detect dead bodies. The MC is a very cool detective as a grown-up. He solves many murder cases hoping to one day find the guy who abducted him when he was a child. This manhwa is full of top-tier comedy, and each case MC encounters is unique and ends at a very satisfying stage. This has the same author as The Leviathan. I highly recommend giving this thriller a try. Outlaws. Lee Sang Hyun and Bae Jai Hyun live their lives as normal high school students, while secretly hiding their true identities, mages of law. But on one eventful day, Bae Jai Hyun reveals her true identity of being a law mage in an attempt to rescue Lee Sang Hyun from a deadly attack from the corruptors, but to her surprise, Lee Sang Hyun has a secret to show of his own. Join Lee Sang Hyun and Bae Jai Hyun as they make numerous sacrifices and attempts in order to fight and exterminate the corruptors that are plaguing the world in which they live. There are comedic moments, but they feel very ruined because whenever a comedic event happens the MC makes the same stupid looking face. The story is also low-key good. Murderer. In this world, rumor has it that there's a mysterious and huge organization that gathers well-known people in society, the Taoist Association. Each core member of said association has incredible powers. They are super murderers and supreme moral practitioners. Axe Hin, a man bound by anger and sorrow, 
has only one purpose, to destroy them. The main character used to work for this killer organization, but he was betrayed and his GF was killed by them. Now he is on the path of revenge. This is basically an action-based revenge manhwa. The art of this manhwa is comical but looks marvelous. The best part about this manhwa are the action scenes. The story is also well written. A Cat's Tale the animals living on the farm of Seaman's family are not what they seem. Although they put up an act of innocence in front of Seaman's family, they are fully capable of deliberately committing horrifying acts. Told from the point of view of an extremely intelligent old cat, this is a thrilling tale of jealousy, manipulation, and murder. The story has an interesting premise, with the cat being the narrator. As we're progressing further along with the story, we're also introduced to the key players. I won't spoil who they are here, but it's more to them than meets the eye. The Soul Guardians. Hyanam trains in Taikai Kigong in order to fight the water ghost that killed his sister. Father Park, unable to save his friend's daughter from an unknown evil spirit, chooses to become a priest walking the path of asceticism. Jun Hu, the only survivor of Eastern CS Esoteric Buddhism, is a genius who has inherited all the magic of the five guardians of esoteric Buddhism. Soon he, who has a secret, gets involved in a mysterious case due to her father. An occult fantasy in which individual exorcists, each driven by their own causes, solve crimes and fight together against evil demons. Demons who rule the spiritual and emotional worlds of mankind and drive society into chaos. This one is actually pretty good. The art scenes are top-notch. The story is focused on the exorcism of different types of evil beings. I built a lifespan club. Lu Li spent his time working in the capital, bumbling around, without any hope in sight. He wanted to change and to become a big shot, to have money, power, and women, but he was just a mediocre person. One rainy night, Lu Li acquires a special ability, he could buy and sell a lifespan from people. He could partially perform time acceleration and deceleration. Hence, Lu Li set out to change his fate against the odds, heading for the sovereign throne of the heavens and to build the eternal club in the city. This is a top-tier manhua. The main character obtains an ability with which he can buy and sell time to humans. The story of this manhua is really unique. This has more likeness to I am not the demon god's lackey. The art is good, and the pacing of the story is top tier. Nothing feels out of place or forced. The main character is trying to build a giant empire in here. Give this one a try you will not regret it.